And they're on the same team. In this game. Yeah. Definitely uh, some of the more experienced players, but, um, you know, tough to say that they might be the best when there's... They have the CIS pride. Yeah. <laughs> and we start out with the disconnect on Juggernaut. No, ink. But the real question is, have no either ink. of them won a TI? No, I think none of them I'm, have won. That's true. Yo, I need chat. I need you guys to click the Twitch Rivals extension. Click on Ink's channel and just go give him your energy, okay? <laughs> I think he needs it right now. I think he needs to give his uh, account info to somebody else to play for him. No, no, no. no. See, now that's cheating. <laughs> what I, if they're worse than him, though? I, I, it's clearly. I, I think it's still technically cheating. It's just really stupid cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that when Dota 2 was first announced? Uh, they had, Ice Frog came out with a bunch of like feature lists of things that were going to add, like mm -hmm. kind of like advertisement before it came out. One of the things that was in there, which obviously never made it into the game, is well, first of all, he talked about being able to reconnect on disconnects, which wasn't a thing in Dota One. But the second thing is, you could let if you disconnect and you lose like internet access, you could have somebody else play for you. That was actually on the list of wow. things to be wow. added. And back then, I was like, man, that's so cool. But now when I think about it, I'm like, my god, that was such a bad, bad idea. idea. <laughs> yeah. Which is why they didn't add it. I wonder what changed their mind, though, you know? Maybe they tested it out and... God, I love these team banners. Yeah, those are Oh, classic. that team banner. Did you see that? what that team banner looked like? I, there was a boot, barely. and there was Gunner's face, and oh, there was Envy. It has Brax on it, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've seen this one before. Some Dota memes in there. I like it. Are we going to see the pro chronospheres this game? Oh, I think that's what. Or is I'm that ready the for it. Funic offlane. This is a this is a treat. This man made it to grand finals of TI three. Three. That was off. Wait, wait, four, two. TI two. Yeah. I already forgot. TI. All right, well, it was one of those. Damn it. Yeah, I, don't I, remember. I already forgot. I already TI two or TI three. That's two. Because he wasn't on both. Damn it! What was it? <laughs> was he on the? Team that lost to Alliance? Who was, who was Alliance or who was Navi's, Navi's off laners? It's Puppy, Dendi. Chat's gonna go crazy. Kuroki, Havas. Pull out chat and ask them. Was it Light Funic. of Heaven still? Light of Heaven, well, yeah. Light of Heaven was earlier. So Funic must have been TI3, Light of Heaven 2 and 1. Oh, my I head think. hurts. I already forgot. Oh, we're gonna see a repeat First of the. Uh, blood. Juggernaut is a good hero. Announcement, PSA. Yeah. <laughs> good hero. Yeah, I agree. In any role, if you have to play him in any role. Yeah, the reason why heroes like this are kind of scary to give away is because they are so effective very early on with little to nothing. Yeah. Dendi, Puppy, Havas, Funnik, Kuroki. Okay, so we were correct. That was TI3. TI3. Okay. Light of Heaven was TI2. Yeah. Yes, okay. I mean, how can we forget that he's TI2, right? That's, that's where the play happened. True, true. They talked about the counter. <laughs> his light of heaven with his BKB. So it's going to be Juggernaut and Luna in a lane together. And Slark and Viper. That is... This is my favorite off the combo. What? <laughs> Luna Joy? <laughs> <laughs> what bracket are we talking about here? What, smurf, what bracket is your smurf in now? Divine 2. That's Divine 2? <laughs> That's surprising. I mean, funny enough, I lose a lot of games on, uh, in Divine 2. People maybe are not, just stubborn. Maybe not that surprising, honestly. So we're going to see, we didn't get to actually watch the AM support game, right? That was just something we saw that somebody had picked. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that there's uh, not much to it. You uh, hit people and run away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> um, Zimmy's going to die on the right click of Kengo. Oh, oh, no. And Ink will be next. I mean, this is that a... essence shift damage. Look at Aloha Dance plays this hero, man. Mm -hmm. He does. He, he knows what's up. I mean, up. if you have a good Slark player, they can snowball and just literally like just carry your entire game. Yeah. Insane. I really like this new build from Slark, by the way. Like, ever since they changed his pounce, like, pounce is so awful. Mm -hmm. And uh, now they just play to win the lane, so they 
take a lot more points in Essence Shift, and then they just trade. They buy more regen, then they trade and trade, and then. Uh, Does the permanent agility gain uh, scale? Meaning, oh per no, level? No, no, you just get the one. same. So this is always one. Okay. I think it'd be a little too powerful if it's scaled. Yeah. Like I, uh, in the same way that uh, it does for Pudge, for example. Right. It'd be like way too powerful. You'd have a carry that like potentially, let's just say he has an average game and he has seven kills and is scaled like two point something. That's, you know, free, t free two blade of alacrity. <laughs> Pretty good. No mana in this lane. There you go, support anti-mage in action. What a... He hits, and then he runs. So if we're talking <laughs> about for later in the game, Void is technically... A, in fact, when AM was... Um, popular. Super popular, like TI1. Void was like the answer. Well, Void wasn't available. Oh, so if yeah. you remember, it was, was anti-mage versus Spectre in like every single game. Yeah, right? I remember that. That's and why, that's why they were... Shortly after, bad. they came out with a couple heroes to counter anti-mage. Can you name the second one? It was Void... Plus one. There was another one? Yes. Was it Doom? No. No, Doom was already in Dota 1. Or it's Dota 2. It's Correct. Uh-oh. I'll give you a clue. It's, uh... Well, what was a good clue? It actually wasn't a great counter. That's the clue. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you give me a lot to work with. Now, now I need to... Um, I can basically answer this just by thinking of what heroes were... All right, one of his abilities is a letter in the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a clue. That's also a male. It's his, also a he. His, yeah, it's a he. His ultimate has something to do with alcohol in his lore. Has something to do with alcohol? Yes. Oh, we're going to see a pounce out here from Aloha. Once he gets to level six, he can pretty much self sustain. Actually, you got to be careful, though. Thanks for that. Is it Brewmaster? Not Brewmaster. That's definitely not a good counter to AM. It's okay. Up his lane. What's another clue that would be fun for you? I have to think more, man. Do you want to just know. tell you? These clues suck. <laughs> I don't know. I bet Chad has already gotten it ten yeah, times but, over. Yeah, but the, Chad, Chad always gets it, man. Chad is just googling it. <laughs> oh, what are they gonna Google? There's the <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna Google Dota 2 hero release dates, you know? Oh. Uh, and they're gonna go down the list. That's cheating. Yeah. That's cheating, guys. He right, has I a beard. I, I give up. He has a beard. <laughs> He has a beard? Yeah, a beard. Yeah, like Blessing. Zeus. Most nope. of the cast. Lone Druid. Nope. Alright, last King. clue. Last clue. <laughs> this hero was named after a famous artist. Oh. Kunkka. Kunkka. Mm. We did it, guys. Wait, wait, why why is <laughs> why is Kunkka supposed to be Because of X. Because back in the day, like AM was played a little bit differently, right? Yeah. So it's all about catching him. And back then, there was zero catch in zero. the game. Yeah. And Except he was considered, you know, a pseudo counter. But it didn't end up being that way, which is why I said he doesn't actually counter. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good job, Aosin. You got it, buddy. <laughs> I only know it's Kunkka, too, because he did artwork for Dota 1. Dude, Kunkka is the best. He did a bunch of sets for us. Nice. You know, the, he did the Juggernaut set. Oh. The wait. famous Juggernaut set. What's the famous Juggernaut set? Oh, that crit. Oh, oh, he will live. Not even close. The nice power. little funny side story. Kunkka absolutely hates the hero Kunkka. Really? Yeah, he never liked him. Why? Just not his play style, I guess. But Kunkka is sick. <laughs> Kunkka is like, I think in terms of hero design, Kunkka is actually really good. Like really it's cool. pretty cool. Time to shove off. And by the way, his ultimate is on rum. He likes rum. Right. That's what his... Ah, uh, okay, okay. What's, I can't remember. Admiral rum or something. Ghost rum. Spooky rum. Level six, he took the mid tower. This is a. Uh... I mean, skeletons are legit. They are super legit. Just a, a pro tip for you guys if you ever play Wraith King, this is exactly what you should be doing. You do not skill your ultimate until you actually need it. Oh, uh, you, you leave the skill open. You leave the skill open. The reason why you do that is because, let's say, for example, you get five man ganked. Kind of a waste, right, to have a reincarnation for that moment. Yeah. So it's really and important that you The don't. main reason is because it's ult, it's the longest cooldown in the game, I think. Yeah, 300 three seconds? Or not 300, three minutes. Yeah, 300 seconds, five minutes. It's insane. Eh, five minutes, how long can that be? Ding, 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 mother... 
<laughs> Good old LD. I've actually, I know a friend that was boasting that he's been playing support Luna in pubs. I should have texted him to ask him for any tips. Well, I would love to know how to play support Luna. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> I, I think it's He's like, doing it right though. He doesn't get moon glaves. It yeah, you don't you don't get moon too. Yeah. You just you just take stats, you empower your your core, you beam people. And then you uh, eclipse people and you hit six. And Wraith King is applying pressure to the tier two still. I'm gonna see a TP out here. Yeah man, this is the Wraith, Wraith King is like, Yeah. You know, this is why I'm surprised by some of these picks, right? Like I, I mean I mean so it's it's really hard, right, to tell what's actually Good and what's not that great. Uh -oh. Yeah, but there's. And I feel like oh, we're gonna see some pressure to to draw Ranger. No, he has mana. no mana, so he doesn't even take damage. Yeah, and that's another. Da another kill. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside of anti, anti mage, right? <laughs> that's kind of his whole thing. Anti mage, just looking at them. And actually, Wraith King will live, surprisingly enough. Support PA, just gonna make some space. And any beam, no beam, no. a lot of space made. Yeah, that is actually a colossal waste of time for everyone. All three of them were chasing, you know. Yeah, this uh, mid Wraith King is doing a lot of work. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody here, okay? Nothing like that. I have the hindsight of 2020, although I did say this, so there's no 2020. But <laughs> Wraith King is just objectively a good hero. It doesn't matter what the role is. He will be useful in some way. But the, I feel like Undying is so bad. Why have we not seen Undying? Yes. No. Nah, For no, God's no. sake. Come undying, on. Undying wins you lanes. That's that's why you don't see it. Well, Wraith King's winning his lane. Yeah, but that's like a one-on-one -on -one situation. That's like, <laughs> it's inevitable. Something like this will happen no matter what you end up drafting. Oh, the big turnaround. Pounce into oh, oh. camera. <laughs> into the bottom lane we go. <laughs> it's okay. We can just look at uh, the health bars. Nothing happened. It's all good. Yeah, but this lane, if you're, the, if you're Team Admiral here, Admiral Bulldog, that is, Gotta be oh, pretty annoying playing against TP. Heroes. Chronosphere dropped. Okay, no damage being done because he has a million armor. Funic. Oh. Oh, oh the big crit. All right. Well, that'll oh. do it. <laughs> it's funny. I, I don't think I've seen. I barely even recognize the skeletons. Really? The guy doesn't have cosmetics. <laughs> I, I don't remember the last time I've seen the skeletons look like that. I didn't even know there were cosmetics. What? What are you talking about? It's like the green wraiths. Dude, come on. You think I spend money on this? We saw them last game. Yeah, we last game, bro. I already forgot. I have <laughs> that's, that's a true competitor right there. I don't pay attention to these things. I mean, Wraith King is the reason that they, they're pushing their second tower now. He does have his ultimate, by the way, so he did skill it. On the run. And they're not going to chase, it seems. Yeah. That's that actually like hurts Radiant a lot. Like, look at this. There, there's four heroes here. They did deny it though. That is something. Yeah, that, that, that puts like a lot of pressure on them. Like, the Sark is kind of kind of free farming, yeah. and then uh, that's the scary part. Yeah, they managed to take two towers already, so Drow doesn't feel as safe anymore. I mean, we we talked about how. I mean, I think we were kind of implying, or maybe not implying is even a soft word for it, about how Slark is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> but if he, if he wins his lane and he, he gets free farm, free farm, I mean, he's a scary hero in his own right. Well, still. It was he's a actually, very... He's actually still kind of, like, bad enough that even in that <laughs> scenario, he can still just not do anything. But you're also a pro player yeah. playing a game with... Most of the people are not pro players in... He's gonna have a good Everyone, game. Everyone's dabbled here and there. I, They've dabbled, sure. Once <laughs> dabbled. I dabbled. I'm sure everyone voter. here has played an open qualifier for TI. <laughs> yeah, that definitely doesn't count. What? That how does it not count? <laughs> I'm gonna do that next. To, I'm gonna do that this year, and then I'm just gonna call you and be like, by the way, I'm a professional Dota player now. If you guys, if you keep going, no, no, you know, no. there's there's thresholds to this. I can say I was second at TI. <laughs> you know? Okay, sure. Slacks, he was a sub. He was second a sub, at TI. Second at TI. Does that count? Yeah. I mean, come on. That was well done. <laughs> We're going to see a one for one trade here. Funic definitely getting the better of that. Yeah, he 1v3'd and killed BSJ. Yeah. Shadow Blade almost done with uh, Aloha Dance. And that is the point when Slark will start to get a little bit scary. Probably will go for, I believe, Echo Saber is still the build, unless something's changed. 
Yeah, it, it really depends on what he's looking for. He can also buy something like uh, like Diffusal Blade if he wants to get more okay. damage. Yeah. Because right now, yeah, this is basically your target. If you are given the opportunity to, uh, you know, kill someone, then uh, you just farm this, this Luna over and over again. And this Luna actually can't TVs. do anything. Yeah, oh. Slark, I'm liking this game, man. Shadowblade is complete. And that's when he gets started. Oh, to get Wraith active. King also has oh, Shadow Blade. Wow, that's very surprising. Okay. Wraith King is very. Boring. Why do you think he gets that over Blink? I think they just want to play really aggressively. They want to be able to have playmakers, so this is like double the playmaker. I think they're they're basically gearing up for for basically playing around the map rather than fighting together. Okay, Funic. Oh, Funic in a backtrack. A lot oh, of damage. Oh, that is Chronosphere such a good onto Chronosphere. three with zero follow up. So as CC at the very least. Wow, Slark oh, actually Aloha, nice. Nancy's dead. All right. All right, well. well bad, we're uh, seeing the anti synergy here. <laughs> Chronosphere into all melee <laughs> other than Viper. <laughs> but but yeah, see so I'm a little surprised they decided to fight that because they're they're itemizing in a way where they can fight around the map and find solo pickoffs, right? Yeah. Because like you just saw, fighting together is kind of difficult when you have that much but of a crutch. You played Dota for how many years? You see a chrono onto four heroes. Yeah. Feels like you just go for it, right? Yeah. Maybe your instincts just take over and you forget about the I, fact I mean, that they, they have a little bit of follow up, right? You can throw a snap. Dagger in there. into. Oh, yeah. Let, all right, let's, let's not joke around, all right? Those are, those are garbage abilities, but you do have the. <laughs> you do have the Viper Nether Toxic. Oh, big oh. wraparound. Oh. Oh, Gonna get another one. They stayed a little bit too long here. Ink now oh, on the Ink run. has to be careful. He can't actually TP out because the. Uh, Chances that you get bashed are a little too high. You don't want you don't want that. And having a PA as your support that can just slow and catch, it feels pretty good. It's pretty nice. All right, and they turn it around. They they do lose two towers for it, but they don't they don't walk away empty-handed at least. So I think like in this situation, if Dyer want to uh, make use of their advantage, they need they need to ward uh, pretty deep into the radiant side, so that they can spot people before they even group up. Mm -hmm. And then you make pickoffs happen before they can even group up. And then if you just keep dismantling them before they can ever become a five man, I think this is like a pretty pretty straightforward win for, for the dire lineup, I think. And it's looking good so far. Early Roche on. Free Roche. For Slark. Yeah. Indeed. Very good Aegis carrier, because he is still a little bit susceptible in the Ooh, He's got double damage. The game. Oh, they're gonna see him. This should make my life. Gets the ward. Another sentry. It's two sentries. It looks like you're right. It will not be Echo Saber. It will be Diffusal. Oh, he actually got his dark packed off. Damn. So, gets rid of that silence. They can turn around too. I, I, I don't. I don't think they should chase. Be very careful here. Funic is gonna go. Chronosphere for... is ready. Are you ready for the big wombo combo? Yeah, you uh, definitely don't. Like, I think if you have Chronosphere, you actually just don't really care about it unless uh, Viper is there to drop mm -hmm. drop the thing on it. Uh, you're going to look at it again, and you're just, uh, yeah, whatever. All right. Zoop. Oh, Eclipse. Oh. oh, Chrono onto only one. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Now it makes two when he runs into it. Funic Still fine. Drop. It's a one for one, though. Okay, this is where you have to be careful. Yeah, Terrorblade is the scary one. Ter Terrorblade is the final boss. Oh, Wraith King is going to die. He doesn't have mana. Oh. I, I think he has mana, he just doesn't oh, have, he doesn't have his ult. ult. Has been killed. Oh, wait. Shadow Oh, he, oh. Uh, he, he turned around back. because he wants to dodge the blink. Oh. But. Good try. Good try. I can't, can't do much about that. I, I think uh, Team Funic is a. Uh, they need to give up these engagements. You know, if you're, you're, if you're actually 5 on 5, you, I don't think you should be fighting. Chronosphere is actually a crutch. This is, this is the second time yeah. where Playing Chronosphere has baited them into a loss. Yeah. So you have to be careful. I mean, just use it as like a take few heroes out of the fight for a few seconds. Maybe you try to do it. And let back everyone line. else fight, yeah. Yeah. Dyer's top oh, walking into Sentry. Very spooky, but it's still a very hard hero to kill. This is actually the main reason why playing against Slark is so annoying. Because uh, if you're a support, you have to buy so many sentries. 
and the fact that CC is not guaranteed on him. Yeah. If he's good. Good and fast. BSJ is an aspiring carry player. <laughs> yeah. So it's does it still kill the smaller ancients? I don't actually remember what the number. What the change is. I don't think it actually one shots ancients at all. So none of not even the smaller ones. Not even the smaller right. ones. Yeah. Still ancients, man. They're worth a lot. Yeah, that's true. Mahadan's showing himself again. Making space. So I think they, I, 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 surely by now, after losing two fights in a row, they shouldn't ever like group up unless they need to defend uh, high ground. They should just be split pushing, cutting waves, setting up with uh, with Lothars, if possible. I think like the only person who plays with Void is the Viper and no one else. So Wraith can go in for Echo Saber himself, so that'll give him the mana regen. I was wondering because the fact that you're Against an AM, even though it is a support, still something Wraith King should be worried about. And then you buy a mana item instead of Blink. So Echo Saber makes a lot of sense. I think you don't worry too much about it. Support anti mage isn't really going to threaten you too much. You say that now. And you're playing and you're playing a core Wraith King, and you you had a decent start. I, I think like hitting level twenty is not going to be too scary. And they're grouping up now. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. This could be scary. I mean, Aegis is there. It's that is a Gus really good Gus. Aegis and they kill him in time. Pop. They cannot kill him in time. Oh, oh but he gets Chrono. chronoed. Chrono. He's going to kill, die. Oh, right, oh but he has Aegis. Yeah, That's big. Back. They need to kill Terror Blade. Can they kill Terror Blade? Terror Blade is still alive. They do get him, but at a great cost. See if Three they for back. one. Yeah, Viper bought back. Ink is going to continue the pressure. That's going to be another oh. kill unless he can. Yep. Uh oh. Drown this is awkward. Now. Oh boy. That was a very long TP. Wow. Slarky, slarky, malarky. Out for 40, no buyback. They can actually get the tower, if not more, maybe even the full racks. This is a really good play from Radiant. They're just not getting caught out. They're walking together. They're picking up a ton of sentry wards and. Is under attack. Team Funic, they kind of like. Missed their opportunity to uh, pick them off. They just couldn't ever split them up. Yeah, they're backing here. Luna's just stuck. <laughs> oh no! He's gonna make it. Oh no! Oh, I like the I like the, uh, oh. the attempt. You see that? He bought a fairy fire. Did he? Yeah, I like that attempt. <laughs> he got so blocked by those creeps. <laughs> that was rough. Rough life for support Luna. I'll take that as tribute. They didn't lose Raxo, so it's you know it's not, not all hope is lost. It definitely hurts to lose the tower, but with the melee rack still up, you can still play the way that you. I don't even know if they were looking to play that way, but I think that that's how they should play it. Put deep wards into the enemy jungle and uh, try to pick people off before they decide to group up. Once Void gets this uh, second or this first damage item after his mask. He can actually finally kill somebody in Chrono. Hey, That'll be a big deal. Yeah. I don't even think it's enough. Really? You can't kill Drow? Definitely not Drow. Drow has 1600 life and like 20 something armor. 20 you don't armor. think Mask of Madness MKB is enough to kill Drow during a Chrono? He has Mask and Maelstrom only. I'm saying his next damage item. Oh, the next damage item. Yeah. Well, by the time he has the next item, Drow's gonna have more. True. True, true, true. This is that's it's kind of the issue with Void. I don't think I think Void should be buying oh, items. Oh, that's not a good death. Yeah, I think Void should be buying items like Vlad's, and uh, I don't. I don't Going know. for the Even, utility off. All, like the utility. Yeah, I don't think you should be buying damage items because it's. Why? Why not, Aosin? Just because you have five carries on your team? It's it's just <laughs> it's just really bad. Your your timing is always so behind. I think the reasoning, and I kind of understand, is the fact that we've seen it. His chronos, they don't do anything. They don't do anything, yeah. But I, I think you, you have to just Like if you give get up. ags, for example. Okay, just give up chrono on. here. Let's see what they Look at this. Crimson Guard. All right, he actually takes terribly the half HP. That's an improvement. Oh. But with two dead, I don't, I think they would just lose. So you know how we were talking about like certain heroes that uh, you just shouldn't give other people like Night Stalker and that kind of thing. I think Terra Blade is starting to get up there, yeah. See, He's but like what's game. what's the better option, right? Undying. 
<laughs> Honestly, with how these games are going, maybe Undying is better. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I still feel like a little iffy on that one, but Terrorblade is just... He's been winning like every he's, game. He's winning like every single game. It's just kind of hard to d deal with. Like, it's because he... If you're picking a bunch of carries, this hero doesn't need items to do damage initially. Because well, that's what he, meta does. The thing is, like, he needs items, but he's just so good at...